Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to uh, a how-to video of how to download Euro Truck Simulator 2 multiplayer. Um, this is for like when you're launching it, and it says, and it just launches, and it just goes into single player. It doesn't seem any different. There's no alpha multiplayer thing up here in the corner when you launch it. So this is to teach you how. So first thing you want to do is obviously just go here and type in ETS2. Well, you could just say MP, short for multiplayer. No, no, then just type it in on Google, it'll be right here, or even Bing, whatever. Uh, you want to just go to download, sign in through Steam, it's completely free. Like, let's see, if I just go like this, boom, just sign right in. Come on, come on. Just booted up my computer, so it's taking a minute. There we go. Okay, now if I were to go here and I was just to click this, you'll notice that, boom, popped right up. No paying for it. No need to buy it or anything. Just download it. If you want to save it on your desktop, you can. Now what I'm going to do is go into here. This is where I keep all my mods for your old truck. And some other things. And some, like, bus driver simulator or whatever. Just in case I get a new computer or something, I take this whole folder, put it on there, and I have everything. But, we're looking for... I forget what it was called. Hmm. Here it is. Install Eurotrack Familiar 2 mods. Now, this will be inside the RAR folder you should get. Um, you'll need WinRAR in order to set up that RAR folder. Once you download it, if it's not, if it doesn't look like this, just click boom, open with WinRAR, and uh, that's it. WinRAR is virus free. It's awesome. It's a file opener. I have Norton Security Site, and everything's good. It allows me to download it fine. Has no problems. But here's where pe people, here's where you go into single player if you don't do this right. So click next. You're gonna accept this. This is correct. This is what you want. Here's where people get confused. When you downloaded it the first time, it will not say this. It will not say programs, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Euro Truck. That won't happen. That's why when you do it, this is what you have to do. The only reason it's showing up now is because I've already installed it and it memorized it. But when you install it, just remember, you have to go to Program Files 86 or Program Files. I don't know which one you, for you guys. For me, it's Program Files 86. You want to go to Steam, Steam Apps, and then Common, Euro Truck Simulator 2. That will automatic, and then just go like this. This will be fine. Boom. Uh, whatever you want to do. If you want to create a desktop icon, that's cool. And then just click Install. I'm not going to because obviously it's right here. But that's literally it, guys. And then once it launches, um, you cannot launch it without launching Steam. I don't know why, but that's just how it is. You have to have Steam open in order for it to launch the right way. So, and basically, what you do is you go to, you hover over this, you want to go to properties over your Truck Simulator 2, go to betas or betas, and I already did it, but uh, it depends what version you have. This will be the newer version. So, if you have it set for like Right here, 1.33, or basically, if it's you basically in order for this to work, it has to be here. It has to be 1.21 or 1.201 or 1 or 112. Just be basically, it has to be 1.12.1, and then just click on it. It'll just sit here. It should say queued or update queued. I don't know why it's downloading it. Maybe because I just did it or whatever. Who knows? But that's what that's going to do. What's the download? Updates. It's updating a game, I guess. But anyway, so that's how you do that. And then once you do that, go go like this and just open this up. Whoops. And one thing to do, since you don't have to keep, so you don't have to keep doing this, you might have to run it as administrator. So go right here. Go to properties. This is the easiest way, the way you don't have to keep running it. And just click this, run as administrator, and click. Like if I was to go like this, I'd have to click apply. 
and that's it. Then you click OK. And now this will always run an administrator forever. That way, when you, because if you don't run it as administrator, I, it won't work. So, I hope this has helped you guys. If it if it has, leave a like, l leave a comment. Let me know what you're gonna. Let me know what you think. What you want to see next? I'm uploading a video on, I think tomorrow night of, or maybe even Saturday, depending when I get to uploading it. But we're making a video. Me and my friend are gonna do some multiplayer convoy. So, all right. I will see you guys in the next one. Comment. Rate and subscribe. Peace.